Liv. Today I am bringing you three simple vegan recipes for the new year. This video is another collaboration with Thrive Market and if you haven't seen the first video I did with them, I will put the link in the description box below so you can go check it out. But basically, this is the same concept where I am giving away a free one month trial and a free product to all of my US viewers, which I know is a large majority of you. For those of you who don't know, Thrive Market is an online store that's described as being Whole Foods products with Costco prices. So similar to Costco, you buy a annual membership and then that allows you to shop there and it gives you 25 to 50% off the retail value of the products that you're getting. So it's really easy to find products on the website. You can just like search or you can filter by those different categories. And for every membership that's purchased, Thrive Market actually donates a membership to a family or a person in need, which is just something extra that's really nice if you are planning on buying a membership anyway, you know that you're doing something good for someone else as well. So the product I'm giving away today is a jar of the Thrive Market organic and ethically sourced 15 ounce jar of coconut oil and this stuff is like super high quality, cold pressed, all of that. So if you click the first link in the description box, you can go get your free jar of coconut oil as well as your free one month trial and I will put all the details below and everything you need to know below. So because Thrive Market only ships to the US, this is only available to people in the US right now, but the recipes will still work the same. You can still substitute the products. It doesn't have to be the exact same ones that I use. So I think that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. All right, let's make this squash sauce. So the first thing you're going to need to do is add a cup of almond milk into a high speed blender, followed by a cup and a half of cooked butternut squash and a teaspoon of curry powder. Then you're just going to blend it up until it is completely smooth. All of the measurements and the full recipes will be below, so don't worry. If you miss something, you can just go check out the recipes below. Um, and then I'm using the coconut oil and I put just a little bit in a frying pan. You don't have to use oil if you don't want, but I love the flavor that coconut oil gives. It goes really well with the squash and the curry flavors. So then I added a handful of red peppers, a handful of green onions, and a head of mini pak choy or bok choy, I'm not sure which one it is. Um, and then I just stir fried it until it was as soft as I like it. Then I just set it aside and you don't need to wash out the pan or anything, but just pour the squash sauce directly into the pan and keep it on about medium to low heat. You just wanna heat it up and simmer it a bit and then we are going to add some soy sauce or I'm using coconut aminos and this one obviously I got from Thrive Market. It's super good, it's just like a soy alternative. Um, so I just put probably about two tablespoons in there. I also added a tablespoon of maple syrup, but if you don't like your sauces sweet then you don't need to add that because the squash is already pretty sweet on its own but I just like things extra sweet so you can add like a tablespoon of sugar or maple syrup or whatever then you just want to add your cooked noodles to the frying pan and stir those around until they're all coated the longer you leave it in the pan the thicker it will get so just kind of eyeball it to how you like it but that's basically it then you can add some salt and pepper Then I just like to plate this up with the veggies. So yeah, that's just a super quick and easy squash pasta recipe and this will impress anyone you give it to. I guarantee they won't even care that it's vegan, trust me. This next recipe is a total game changer for breakfast. So you're gonna add a cup of flour to a big bowl with two teaspoons of baking powder, two tablespoons of sugar, I used coconut sugar. Then you're going to add a cup of almond milk, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar or lemon juice, and two tablespoons of either oil, I use coconut oil, or you could use applesauce or mashed banana, something like that. Then it's going to be a pretty thick batter like this and just heat up your waffle iron. If you don't have a waffle iron, you could try making these into pancakes and if you do, let us know how it goes below. But you just wanna heat up your iron and make these how you would normally make waffles. And they took like three to four minutes, I think, maybe maximum five, but not more than that. And there you go, some perfect vegan waffles that are crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. 
To make the caramel sauce, add a teaspoon of tahini and a half teaspoon of coconut oil to a little dish and just microwave that for about 15 seconds. And this is just so that they are easier to combine. And then you're going to add two to three teaspoons of liquid sweetener. So I used maple syrup, but you could also use brown rice syrup or agave. So then just stir that all together and I added a little pinch of salt because I love that the flavor that gives is kind of like a salted caramel sauce. Then you're just going to plate your waffles, add the sauce, or you could just add regular syrup if you don't want to make the sauce. Then I just added some of these crunchy pecan granola clusters on top. These oil pulling chews make oil pulling so much easier and if you don't know what oil pulling is, I will leave a link in the description box for what it is and what the benefits are. But basically I'm just using the Thrive Market coconut oil and you wanna use a really high quality coconut oil and one that's meant to be consumed. So I put about a tablespoon or two of that into a dish and microwaved it until it was melted. And then I just got these little plastic molds at my local bulk food store. They're little roses. I thought they were so cute. Um, and just melt the coconut oil until it's pretty much all melted. And then you're just going to fill the molds up and that's pretty much it. You can add um, some essential oils or some flavors if you want, but I just did mine plain. And you just need to refrigerate it for about 20 minutes maximum, especially if they're small like these, it shouldn't take too long. And then just store them in a little jar in the fridge or freezer. And then just take one out each morning and pop it in your mouth when you want to start oil pulling. And this is just such a cute idea and it can save you just a little bit of extra time in the morning, which we could all use, I am sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the recipes. As always, if you make anything, definitely take a picture and tag me on Instagram at Liv's Healthy Life. Don't forget to go to the link in the description box to get your free jar of coconut oil and your free trial membership for Thrive Market. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys next time.